Musicians depend on Onsong to keep their music ready to perform. It's important to make sure that your library is safe and ready to go at a moment's notice. First, make sure that you back up your entire iPad or iPhone. To do this, go into the Settings app on your device and choose iCloud. Then make sure the backup option is turned on. This will save the contents of your device to iCloud. If your iPad or iPhone is ever lost, stolen, or damaged, you can restore to an entirely new device. Of course, one problem with this is if your iPad or iPhone was lost, stolen, or damaged, you do need another iPad to do a full restore. Creating an Onsong backup is the fastest and most assured way to make sure you can get up and running on any device. We're going to cover the automatic backup feature released in Onsong 1.999. Backup files are only useful if they are up to date. You have a lot of things on your mind, so Onsong can now remember to save a backup so you don't have to. Open the Utilities menu in Onsong and choose the Backup option. This is where you configure your backup. In the first section, we pick a place to save our backup. We want to make sure the file is saved somewhere other than the device in case it's lost, stolen, or damaged. Here we choose Dropbox. We sign in. We create a backup folder and then choose it. Dropbox is a cloud-based storage service that gives you 2 gigs of storage for free. It also has automatic file revisions, which is nice for backup files. Sign up at dropbox.com. If you need more storage in the future, you can pay a low monthly fee for it, but 2 gigs is more than enough for most users. The nice thing about using Dropbox is your files are stored in the cloud, so they're secure but always accessible as long as you have an internet connection. The second section lets us provide a name for the backup. Since we're using a couple iPads on stage, I'm going to name this Vocal iPad. In the last section, we turn on Automatic Backup. We're going to get a prompt here. This is because Onsong has always appended a timestamp to the file name, but with Automatic Backups, this can create a lot of files very quickly. Onsong suggests that we disable this option, so we'll just tap Disable. Then we can pick how often we want the backup to be created and uploaded. Tap on the plus button until we get to weekly. That's it. We could tap on the close button and Onsong will create a backup in about a week and upload it to Dropbox as long as Onsong is up and running. Of course, we don't need to wait for Onsong to handle the backup. We can backup at any time. Just tap on this backup button in the upper right hand corner to initiate a backup. You'll see a full status of the backup at the bottom of the screen, including how long it takes for the backup file to be created and then uploaded. When it's all done, you'll see when the latest backup was made. So let's say your iPad or iPhone was lost, stolen, or run over by the tour bus, and we do hear that happen sometimes. Just grab someone else's iPad, nicely, install Onsong, and import the backup file to get up and running fast. To do this, we open the Songs menu. We make sure we're on the All Songs tab, and then tap on the plus button. Choose Dropbox, sign in, and tap on the Backups folder. Here we can see the last backup that we've created. Just tap on it and Onsong will prompt you to restore the backup file, since this will replace the library that's currently on the device. If you agree, the file is downloaded, restored, and you're ready to rock in about a minute or two. Backing up your Onsong library is the single most important thing you can do as a musician. Make sure that you always have a backup plan in case your equipment fails. While not everyone can have a spare iPad handy, you could always borrow someone else's to get through the gig in an emergency, as long as you have this backup file. Onsong now gives you the tools you need to be confident on stage. If you have any questions, be sure to contact us at onsongapp.com support.